Two years ago, when we debuted here in the Redline Oil booth, my Dodge Rampage with a mid-engine Hemi, it got so much attention and it still does. But the number one question people ask me, what are you gonna do to top the Rampage? Arrington is a technology company and most people don't really realize that. This year, we decided to turn the technology up. We built a 1948 Chevy truck. Technically, it belongs to my wife. We call this truck Zero. This truck has a technology that's never been seen before. We built a high-performance, LS-based, 6.2-liter engine with a Magnuson 2650 supercharger that runs on hydrogen. Now, I know in people's minds, when you think hydrogen, you say, well, there's cars out there that run on hydrogen, right? A couple of the OEs build them. Those are fuel cell cars. Fuel cell technology is completely different than running an internal combustion engine on hydrogen. This is hydrogen directly injected into the engine. When I, Mike first told me about this, this was one of the coolest things I had ever heard of. I didn't believe him. I said, Mike, I don't know that this is true. You're gonna, I need some proof, man. You gotta show me. But he did, he convinced me. This is so exciting to be part of this, to be partners in the forefront of technology with Mike Copeland and Arrington Performance, with our friends and partners at Bosch. So what we were excited about for SEMA was basically working with Mike Copeland who would build the vehicle. He would do the system integration and, and he would do the, the hardware and he would build the vehicle. And then we would come and provide the controls, uh, experience and the tuning and the calibration to actually get it running on hydrogen. We actually inject the hydrogen into the port. It goes direct into the cylinder. We burn it just like a gasoline engine does. And the only battery we have is the one that when you turn the key, the Optima that starts the truck. We operate exactly the way an internal combustion engine does from the standpoint is we extract the energy by igniting the fuel inside the cylinder. We have a traditional engine rotation. While ours has some specific components in it that are special, the reality is it's an internal combustion engine. We have a, a McLeod clutch attached to the back of that engine. We use an American powertrain five-speed manual transmission goes through a drive shaft and drives a Mosier rear axle with a Detroit Eaton True Track in the middle of it. This is exactly the same as the cars that are out there running up and down the road do, just we use hydrogen to create the power and they use gasoline. It's always been my plan and my goal that this system with some further development could be retrofitted to any internal combustion engine. I don't care if it's a weed whacker, it's a boat motor, it's a car, whatever it is, this could be used to power those. Now, we're not quite there yet. We're making great progress. Our goal with this one is 500 horsepower and we're going to get there. We're building in slow steps, but no emission, no hydrocarbon, no carbon monoxide that comes out of it. The only thing that comes out of the exhaust on this is a little bit of N2O, very, very minor amount, and water. This truck proves the future is here.